pre-order my new book, The Body and the Cosmos at NadiaShaw.com and get free gifts. Hello, fabulous Gemini. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of November, 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And it is as we start this month that we do so under the light of the recent new moon that took place late last month and Mercury retrograde in a part of the sky for you that has to do with your daily life, your workplace, the people who surround you there, the type of work that you're doing. Well, chances are these people will be very confusing and there can be workplace mix-ups that become that much more likely as we begin this month. So make sure you're being patient with the people around you. Now, this also includes in terms of how well you are taking care of yourself, your daily habits and rituals. And so if you find that there are some mix-ups or some sense of uh, some sensitivities coming forward, perhaps food sensitivities, then you know to just be patient and navigate it. You'll get the right information you need as we get to the very end of the month. Well, that energy is with us as we begin the month, but it is a full moon that happens right around the 12th of the month that in some ways is going to change focus. And that full moon will be happening in the sign just before yours. And what I really love about this full moon is how lit up it is. It is speaking in supreme harmony with Pluto, with Saturn. It is speaking in harmony with Neptune as well and standing across the sky from that Mercury retrograde. So I see this energy playing out for you a few different ways. So this can be a time of secrets being revealed, okay? So just know that, especially if it's related to all that Mercury retrograde stuff I just told you. If it's related to matters having to do with the people that you interact with every day, whether at work or elsewhere, whether it has to do with your actual work, okay? And you all of a sudden realizing a penny drops, and you having that awareness that maybe the way that you've been going about things could be different and could be better. It also has to do with how well you are taking care of you. And so where it is that you're not realizing that some habit maybe that you have is not working in your favor, this is that sense of things becoming very clear very quickly and you making changes as a result. And the changes you make very quickly have the potential to improve your circumstances practically in terms of your daily life, in terms of your work life, but on the health level as well. Now, of course, because Mercury is retrograde in this part of the sky, I would also say if it is that you have any kind of important health related tests to do, unless it is that you're doing them over again or they're routine, I would avoid any kind of new tests until we get at least until the end of the month because we do have Mercury retrograde in this part of the sky. Of course, if you have to do it, then you have to trust your life, but just know that you may have to come back around and look at things again from another angle. But chances are with a sky like this, whatever may be transpiring, again, in your daily life, with your coworkers, with the work that you're doing, or perhaps it is that you're not realizing something that you're eating or otherwise, could uh, actually be making you not feel as good as you could be feeling, well, this is where you start to go through a journey and go on a process towards your deeper healing and your deeper change. And yes, as I said, secrets being revealed, sometimes it really is that there's stuff going on with your coworkers that you don't know, it may not even affect you very personally, but the awareness can come on by a surprise. Now, whatever it is that does transpire, you find a way to use it to your advantage. There's a lot of good karma with you in the middle of the month, and it could very well be that other people are working on your behalf without you realizing it to help you to improve your circumstances. Certainly your spirit guides are really working on high, helping you in the middle of the month. Now, as we navigate later into the month, right around November 26th is when we are going to have this month's new moon. Now, this new moon is happening in your opposite sign. It's speaking in supreme harmony with Chiron as well. I feel like this is gonna be a time when very likely you're connecting with new people and feeling that sense of, as a result of knowing them, something within you feels that much more healed as well. But what we have happening two days before that new moon is a beautiful meeting in the sky of Venus and Jupiter. This is often called the most romantic day of the year in your opposite sign, makes it that much more romantic for you. 
So where it comes to matters of just business partnerships, platonic uh, professional alliances, this is a wonderful time to be connecting with others because Mercury is retrograde. If it's related to your work, perhaps these are people who are in some way coming back around and now you're thinking about how it is that the two of you could align together for your shared success and your shared prosperity. But this can be a wonderful time for connecting with new people as well. But of course, a lot of Geminis out there are going to experience this in the context of love and where it comes to matters of love if you're open to meeting someone new. This really is some of the most beautiful energy you are going to see this year where it comes to connecting with another person in a genuine way, in a way that helps you to truly feel connected to possibility and options, really. This is you being aware that there are options available to you where it comes to matters of love. Make sure that you are being social, especially if you're accepting social invitations from friends that could be really good and work in your favor, thanks to that beautiful Chiron and new moon alignment. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, uh, it is this energy that can really help solidify the connection that much more, help you to feel like this person is now moving in a direction of an established partnership to you. The only uh, little bit of a caveat for a small percentage out there, this could be you realizing that this isn't the person for you, but you may also connect with someone new under this energy simultaneously as well. Now, regardless of what your answers is, this is ultimately going to remain one of the best periods where it comes to matters of love for a lot of Geminis out there. And for those of you in an established bond, when we have such beautiful energy playing out in your opposite sign, it tends to denote a real sense of connection and a sense also that the two of you in some way are starting a new chapter or at least having a new understanding that bonds the two of you that much closer together. What I love about this month for you, well, look, I love all that romantic energy, all that partnership energy. You already are a very social sign, are considered a particularly social part of the sky. And it is going to be that new moon that amps up that sociability, that helps you to connect with people and feel connected to others, whether it is on a friendship level or a partnership level as well. It is you getting another perspective into where you are in love and why in a way that can end up being tremendously healing, but also reveal to you just how much love there truly is available to you in the world. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.